Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Gone Home. Last time we left off, I believe we checked out Lonnie's, or I mean, I always say that, Sam's um, kind of underground little area here that was in a secret area where, uh, right, right there, um, checked out a couple areas here, especially the dining room, and uh, we're going to continue on, see what other rooms we have to check out here. Um, I want to say we're getting kind of close to uh, concerning regarding the various rooms left here in the house to check out. I think so, anyway. Cassette tape, or a cassette player, that means we're gonna find a cassette tape. We all know that. Um, a book? Eh, can't read it. Oh! It's a kind of interesting, um, cover art for it. Another unknown dimension of literature discovery, an accidental savior. November 21st, 1963. John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in the balance. But who would believe him? Unknown dimension. Wait a minute. Is that like another publisher? Because I don't... Yeah, I think it might be different. Pack of cards. And... Oh, is that checks? Oh, good old checks. And cassettes. Bratmobile, some, some special. Okay, listen to it for a teeny bit. It's like a tradition now. Oh, I, I gotta press it. I was hoping it would just be all over the place, but whatever. I think we listened to this already. So, eh. No, 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 don't, don't you dare go back in there. I don't do that either, I'm just... There you go, good enough. Uh, okay, let's check out everything. Open the freezer. What do we have here? Man, this is some good old classic classic fridge. What's kind of funny, too, we just upgraded our fridge, our fridge here. It's been way too long, and God, it feels amazing. Um, I swear, if I find anything of interest in here, I'm going to laugh. So what do we have? We have fish sticks. It seems like the almonds place, they have everything. They also have, like, the, um, the drinks we've been having here. Oh, cookie caramel. Oh, my God. This is going to make me hungry. Uh, another box of what we got here. Frozen spinach. And veggies. Ooh, it's corn. Ooh, I love corn. Um, spinach more? More spinach. Spinach isn't bad. I like broccoli, though. Broccoli's pretty awesome. I know a lot of kids didn't like it growing up, and but I always kind of liked it, and I really like it now. Amore Pizza. Delivering 40 minutes guaranteed. If not, then it's free. Sam's schedule? Working at Crown Burger at Bethel, Bethel Road. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 3 to 7. Saturday, 12 to 6. Okay, she has some responsibilities. Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan... Blair? Oh, I'm an idiot. Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Blair request the honor of your presence in the marriage of their daughter, Helen Margaret, to Mr. Richard Morris Patermock. Sunday, the 4th of June, 19, 1995. Um, June 4th? Oh, so this is like 95. Yeah. Wait a minute. What is today? Oh, we're still in June, aren't we? So this is still gonna happen. All right. Um, so it seems like family friends, I guess. Friend, uh, getting married. Okay. Let's see what we have here to eat. A lot of condiments. A lot, you know, cola and milk. When does it expire? I uh, can't really make it out. There's no label or anything. It's just milk. Ketchup. Actually, I don't think we even have ketchup here. I probably should get some Russian dressing. Say Russian dressing? Yes, okay. I thought I read that wrong. And milk. 2%. You don't really have any food here, per se. You have a lot of stuff I can put on food. <laughs> um, oh, ugh, I never liked relish. And cheese. Good old American sandwich slices. Uh, I think when I was younger, I used to... Sometimes I eat the slices by themselves. Now it's like I would gag if I do something like that. Ooh, banana. 
wonder if you guys got where that get where that one's from. And apples. Apples are good. I like the Granny Smith. Oh man. I love those apples. Um a pot. I think we saw some coupons for pots. Cutting board. Okie dokie. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> it looked like we were about to fall anyway. What is it? Oh, nice. Good thing I can, like, you know, bring it back out. Everything is getting... <laughs> I'm just seriously just messing around with the entire kitchen right now. That's all I'm doing. Don't think there's anything here, really. Can't push anything to microwave? No. Fix the timer. I don't think anyone ever, ever does that, even on their VCR, because honestly, I don't think they know how to. Everything just seems so blah. Like, there's like. It's like the series just packed up and left in a hurry. And we still don't know where anybody is. What's funny, after all this, when we have side stories, but it's like, what really happened? Oh, a story. Samantha and. Who? Liniel? Man. Okay, well, they were at the woods one day, and it was sunny, and they were on an adventure. But they went to the bad part of the woods, and it got dark. Damn. Whatever. Are you scared? So Samantha said no. Are are you? They aren't, and went more into the went more into the bad part, and then they met, and they went to a part where it was never there before, and there was a ship, a pirate ship, on an ocean. Samantha said, "I'll be the captain, and you'll be the first mate." Henny won't said, aye aye, Captain. <laughs> and they went on the pirate ship and they started sailing away. Okay. <laughs> it's adorable. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong. And I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. At least he seems strong about it. You know, like, uh, <laughs> so it's Daniel. I guess I just couldn't make it out. Like, cause, like, you can imagine it's like a first, second grader wrote it. Cause she had that one, that one she wrote when she, when she was in second grade, and her teacher was like, "Oh, I don't think girls should be writing stories like this." Seriously, you're just gonna have a picture of shrooms and fungi? Oh, okay. Is there not a light source? I feel like. Oh wait, there we go. Uh, what do I want to check out? Oh, how about this? Just more mugs. Oh, God. <laughs> Can I say... Okay, like, I guess nothing important, though. Alright. Uh, what is this? Cooking low-fat for the whole family to Booth Bay Cookbook. I actually do enjoy cooking myself. Like, I... But I, I do gotta learn more. Like, learn more recipes, just kind of experiment with it. Cooking's actually pretty fun. Can't read that. Um, I'll open that door later. So, June 1995. So, here... Katie comes home this month. We'll call with uh exact date. So, this might actually... Um, shed some light on stuff. Can't make it. Send regret. Wait. Rick's wedding. Rick's wedding? What? I mean, like, Rick Rick, the one you... Mm, can't make it send regret. Uh, okay. Anniversary trip. Wait. June, what, 4th? Is that, hey, what is today? I just thought I just thought about it right now. What is today? It's June 6th. Why did I thought I was 20s? I thought it was like 20-something. I'm so... So they're on a trip! 
That's where our parents are, at least. It seems like it. They're on, on a trip. Charity... Wait, what is that? Charity junk pickup. Um, dentist for Sam. Forest loop. Trail hike event. Uh, church potluck. What is that? Scalloped potatoes? Uh, Cushing Elementary public area cleanup. Okay, so... Anniversary trip, so it seems like that's where our parents are at right now. Wouldn't Caitlin n have known about that, or did he just never bother telling her? Huh. I guess they just didn't know exactly when she was coming. They just knew she was coming in June, but they probably thought later. At least that's what I think of anyway. Oh. Well, another letter. Oh, congratulations on a new uh, position. Dear Regional Conservation Director Greenbrier, having received your formal acceptance letter, I write to congratulate you on a new position at Regional Conservation Director of the State Forestry Service. We wish you luck in the final weeks of Flintlock National Forest and very much look forward to your welcoming home to the new desk at the State Forestry Office at 8 a.m. on May 1st. So she just basically just started. Cool. A mug? Um. Oh. This is mom, but it says men or something, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I just don't feel like reading all that right now. All that good stuff. Open the oven, anything in here? No, of course not. But it still seems odd. I mean, like, they went on their trip, but you forgot six. You just left everything the way it is? You guys are messing. I mean, I know I did a lot of this too, but for God's sakes, I mean, I didn't do that or that. <laughs> um broom. Thank you. It's, it's just like they, they never bottled to... They, they never bothered to clean up much. Hamburger, oh man, so basically hamburger helper. Cans of food. Got, oh, baked beans. Black beans. Oh, well, crap. Okay. Uh, sweet corn. I'm just throwing this crap like whatever. Green beans. You got the, you got the essentials. For any good family dinner? Oh, cake mix. Two, oh, no. I hate, like, anything fish. Hippos! <laughs> oh, yeah. That, okay. Kitchen. More boxes of what? Honey snaps? Oh, that's the 90s right there. Screams 90s. Brand new fiber. That's, an, that's adult cereal right there. All this stuff, I don't think I really care about. Salad dressing, all that crap. Okay. I guess as long as they're not open, they can stay out. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. What is that? Why were you... Why did it seem like this was hiding? Because it was a good... Was the dude? <laughs> it's not hiding anymore, that's for sure. Um, I guess that's that. Let's go ahead. I, at least I think it is. Uh, all right, let's check this door then. Oh, I can't. I cannot see what. Oh, is this the garage? Oh, cool, 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 cool. Paint. I seriously thought it was dripping right now. God, I was like, oh, it's the it's the handle, isn't it? Oh, okay. That's why I got a little freaked out. I'm like, what is that? So, they were painting around different colors. Cool. It's been forever since I painted anything. Kind of, I've always wanted to paint my room for the longest time, but I just never got around to it. It's kind of thing like, of like a gray, white, red type of pattern. <clears throat> just don't know if I'm ever going to do it. Considering I'm getting my own place anyway, so uh, I have one, just haven't moved out. Okay. Yeah, excellent price. So, yeah, it's like. Huh. So it's just like I get. I think it's a different publisher. Actually, yeah, unknown. Yeah, I think this is it. Uh, unknown dimension in the literature. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, first let me say I hope this missive, uh, this missive finds you well. It's okay. Hell, it feels like a a miracle that it finds you all at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to track you down? Where are we not? We aren't, we aren't the feds. The men in black are any any sort of creeping fascist hobgoblins. 
The fact we're on your side, let me start with the beginning. Unknown Dimension is what you might call a spiritual specialist publishing house. We traffic in the weird. The head of the head of its time, the lost but not forgotten by the lost but not forgotten by a small but dedicated group of plugged in bibliophiles type of out there mass market shunning visionary expression of refuse refuses to the taking of anything but its own terms. We had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago, unearthing and reviving Christ or zombie like timeless works such as and then Beast Bestman's Message of the Snake Men, It's Inside Me by Jens Keller and Emil Krieger's off band Venetian flesh traders. Okay. But ever ever since we discovered tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Branch, New Jersey, we've been trying to track you down track down author of this weird but dark American out, uh, outsider art. It's just a kind of forgotten portal into twentieth century civilizations, uh, anxieties and delusions that our readers lose their minds over. James Bond and Harrison Ford might be the Swing heroes, modern suburban Americans want, but John Russell, mild manner insurance agent by day, reckless history revising sociopath by night, is a twisted peacekeeper that it deserves. It is our mission to bring him back to life. Yeah, you definitely have talked plenty. Um, what do you want? What do you want from you? We want your permission to reprint the work since your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded a decade ago. We want you to supply a new forward to the, to the Florida books to appear in brand new editions of the Excellent Savior and Excellent Pariah. To be produced by Unknown Dimension as an illuminated run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. And we want to offer you a portion of the pre pre proceeds contract to follow, assuming you're interested in coming along with us in this weird odyssey. We look forward to embarking with you and to thrusting your work, screaming back into the uh, sweating palms of an unsuspecting American public. It's about time and blast off. Kaz. I mean, this is out there, yes. I'm unsure if I would essentially accept it myself because it's like it seems like kind of poorly written, or just not professionally written. I, I would be off. I'll be off put by it, but um, I don't know. But still, regarding our father, who who's been out of work for at least doing this for a long time, I guess it's kind of like a breath of fresh air. Like somebody recognizes my work. Hell yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back on this. So I guess things were looking up a little bit. Oh, a bike. Oh, a note. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a, lo for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary, June 3rd to the 7th. We will be com camping in the, in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry the kitchen is still... Oh, mid that's what's going on. Renovation. Never trust a contractor. $40 is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good, Dad. So, again, we know, okay, know for a fact that they are simply on a anniversary trip. Okay. A hat. Oh, is this Lonnie's? I think it is. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. That she's really going to be... gone. Just gone. And that must be hard for her. I mean, they are dating after all. Um, name tag. Did she throw away her her stuff? I I need light here. Why did why did I feel why did I feel like I had more light? Okay, never mind. Saint clown clown burger. That was a clown. That's me about clown combo. So, uh, so screw that. <laughs> I think she's got tired of it. Oh, actually, this note. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have the what? We have to we'll have to run the whole house until you leave. I imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking up to our usual spot in the attic. Not that not that the attic doesn't uh, have its musty allure. Ugh, my bedroom is warmer. Sam, we should we should definitely we should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll show them. 
Lonnie, you are gross. Never change. <laughs> You know, I just thought of something. Lonnie mentioned that she was shipping out the 6, right? And today's the 6. Kind of makes me think about where our sister may be at then. And, uh, well, that's that. I can't go outside. So, okay. There, that is that. Um, what else do I have to check out still? I got, I got two more rooms. I, I'll go ahead and do it, do it now. Oh, wait. There's a couple other stuff here, too. Barcelona. Oh, oh, kind of cool looking. Hi, Mom, Dad, Sam. I have a wonderful time on the beaches of Barcelona. Dan, Sam, I think you will like the gaudy architecture. It's from a strange alien world. I'm headed to my final destination, Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I'm running low on money. I'll look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for a short notice. I can't wait to see you all again. It'll it'll be good to be home. Love, Katie. And uh, when did she actually send this, though? I don't see a date. Oh, wait. Um, is that May? May 5th? No, May 10th, 1995. Okay, so just about like a month ago. And uh, a couple note. Booted out Girl Scout. Do, do, do. Oh, I just missed it, I guess. Okay. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Oh, boy. So, what's better than, you know, taking a crap or peeing? Reading about cooking. I understand you need some type of, like, reading material, but that's why everybody has smartphones now. <laughs> um, but yeah, back in the day, 90, in, the, in the 90s, nope. You had to have, like, some type of magazine or shoot, just read like bottles of shampoo or anything you can grab get your hands on i think everybody understands where i'm coming from here and finally have this door oh it's laundry where does this door go oh it's a greenhouse um what time am i at uh you know what i'm gonna go ahead and just call it an episode right now um let me check again where we are in terms of rooms. So we're gonna check the laundry room. I think there's a greenhouse. And after that... I'm trying to remember that map that we saw underneath. The, um... Or that we saw... Yeah, downstairs in the basement. And I think that's it, really. I think the only thing we gotta find is the key to the attic and um, I think we'll find it eventually so uh, and I don't know I feel like it might be winding down like I feel like we're we examined nearly everything so I feel like we're almost there guys so it's possible that the next episode may be the finale I have no idea um, if it is then well enjoy the finale if not then enjoy more of this LP so as usual thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time for let's play gone home I'll see you guys later.